Are you ready for LFA? You ever looked at somebody and just been so repulsed that you just thought like, I don't want this person anywhere near me. I don't want to look at this person. I don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah. Now me personally, off the top of my head, I can't think of a situation where I've ever felt that way. You know, some of you, maybe you have. But for a lot of women out there, you know, it's like they're wired to think this way about certain men. You know, maybe it's because they're at a deficit physically. You know, they're not quite as big and strong as a man, so maybe it's a defense mechanism when they're around, you know, certain guys just kind of flips a switch and they're like, I shouldn't be around this guy at all. Subscribe to the channel. About 10 years ago, I was an assistant manager at a furniture store. And there was a girl who transferred over from a different location. You know, real cute, about 20, 21 years old maybe. Um, very extroverted, very talkative, and I can remember within minutes after meeting her, she had told me, you know, that she was a nymphomaniac, you know, she needed it all the time, she was, she was one of those type of girls, you know, that's just the way that she talked, you know, she was pretty good looking too, but very flirtatious and very outgoing. A few days later, she came to me and she wanted to report an employee. Uh, the employee's name was, God, what was his name? Uh, Joseph. Joseph was his name. She wanted to report him because he wouldn't leave her alone. She said it was like his head was in her ass all the time. And you know I got both sides of the story I even watched some camera footage and I didn't really see any evidence of any type of inappropriate behavior but the truth of the matter was he was about 33 years old he was overweight he was balding he was fairly short you know he just he wasn't the kind of guy that women would find attractive so looking back on a situation like this you know the, the girl that I saw was a flirtatious, outgoing, um, sex-craving nymphomaniac. And the girl that he saw was a royal bitch that hated his fucking guts. You know, and in reality, I didn't treat her any different than he did. You know, we just we just all happened to work together but that's the version of her that he got versus the version that I got you know and back then I wouldn't say I was red pilled or black pilled or any of that you know I wasn't really hip to all of these uh, new movements that are going on but looking back at things man the rules are just completely different if women find you unattractive you know that's why a lot of these dating coaches and pickup artists and this stuff, like some of this stuff will work for you if you're if you meet the threshold of you know what it takes for that stuff to work. But you know, sometimes advice just isn't gonna work for everybody. You know, being unattractive is like a disability, it really is. And you know, sometimes you gotta talk about this stuff because it's just the truth, you know? What separates conduct from misconduct what what separates appropriate behavior from inappropriate behavior and it basically comes down to consent right if you're tall dark and handsome and you meet a woman that wants to be spanked by a tall dark and handsome man you can spank her you can get away with it you know but if you're not tall dark and handsome and you spank her you're gonna be in some trouble you know it comes down to consent but the problem with this is the rules are different for different people so you know as a society 
you know, whether it's in the workplace or, you know, out in public, wherever it may be, you know, if you don't meet that threshold of what women are looking for in terms of maybe looks, money, status, charisma, you know, you might get yourself in some trouble. That's why it's it's not a good idea to be out there, you know, aggressively cold approaching and doing crazy shit with women. I mean, you could definitely get yourself in some trouble. And you know, I'm not an activist. You know, I'm not trying to get too intricate into it. But I am trying to get the wheels turning a little bit. And I know there's going to be some YouTubers out there that are going to watch this video and say, oh, this is, uh, this is defeatist mentality. And no, it's not. It is not defeatist mentality. You know, I can hand somebody a basketball and teach them how to dunk. But if they don't have the athletic ability to get up to the rim, it just ain't going to happen. You know, so that's not a defeatist mentality. It's just a realist mentality. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to get too far into it. I'm just trying to get the wheels turning a little bit. So, you know, it's just something to think about. And the weather's nice again, so I can sit out here in the driveway and make these videos at least once a week. So it feels good to be back. LFA signing out. Mm -hmm.